Hello, welcome to Edzumite. Today we are going to learn how to name an organic compound. The nomenclature of hydrocarbon. So before going to the lessons, we need to know three things. The first one is weight root. And the second thing is the suffixes. And the third thing is the number of carbon atoms present in a compound. There is 10 weight roots present with respect to carbon atom. If there is one carbon atom is present with a compound, we will take meth as the weight root. And if it is two, we will take heed. And if it is three, we will take prop. Respectively, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And the suffixes. The suffixes we will take according to the bond between the carbon atoms. If it is a single bond, we will take ain. And if it is a double bond we will take E and if it is a triple bond we will take I and the generalized equation to name a compound is weight root plus suffix weight root plus suffix so if we know the weight root and the suffix we can easily name a hydrocarbon okay now let's take up an example CH3 CH2 CH3 so first Count the number of carbon atoms present in the compound. 1, 2, 3. 3 carbon atoms is present. So we will take prop as the weight root. Because in the compound there is 3 carbon atoms are present. So 3. With respect to 3 we will take prop as the weight root. So prop. Prop plus now we need to add a suffix. The bond between the carbon atoms is single. So, we will use ain as the suffix. Resultantly, we will get propane. So, if a double bond is coming or an unsaturated compound is coming, the only change will happen with in the suffix. If here a double bond is coming, if here a double bond is coming, the only change will happen in the suffix. The ain will become e. Thus, the name will become propene. If it is a triple bond, again it will change into propine. Y N E. So, this is the simple way to name an organic compound without a branch. Okay. So, we need to know three things. Those are weight roots, suffix and the number of carbon atoms. If you know these three things, you can easily name an organic compound without a branch. Okay? So, I hope you enjoy the class. Thank you.